It's called The Perfect Guest by Paula Metcalf. For my nephew and niece, Ruben, Jody, George, Jacob, Casper, and Harriet. Aww. Let's do this, guys. That's Walter, and look at him. <laughs> Cleaning and dusting and being all happy and cheerful. Okay, let's do this. Walter was very proud of his beautiful home. He loved his pretty ornaments, his polka dotty tablecloth, and his glorious garden. Above all else, he loved his pockly new teapot. Just thinking about it made him smile. Oh, it does have love hearts in it. It does have love hearts in it, guys. <laughs> One morning, Walter's friend, Pansy called. I haven't seen you for ages. Shall I come and visit? Oh, yes, that would be delightful. Pansy's mm, coming. Walter couldn't wait to see his teeny weeny squirrel friend. First, he needed to smarten himself up and make everything absolutely perfect for her stay. There were still more jobs to be done when... It was early. Oh, she just couldn't wait to see Walter. Look at her cute little suitcase and look at her jumping. Oh, I was so happy. Walter was very happy to see her. But he wasn't ready. He hadn't even finished mending his trousers. Oh, look at the trousers. Let's catch up over a cup of tea, giggled Pansy. Then I'll help you. I'm really good at sewing. The mention of tea was music to Walter's ears. He couldn't wait to show off his new teapot, his heart-shaped teapot. It's gorgeous, gasped Pansy. Why, thank you, grinned Walter. How wonderful it was to have a guest. It is wonderful, my Walter. It is wonderful. After the tea, they set to work. Walter carefully ironed his socks. Pansy baked her special lemon cake. And then she got showing. She's very good at it, apparently. Finished! Pansy announced proudly. There were lots of holes, by the way, including two really big ones at the bottom. Walter took a closer look. Oh, he gulped. Oh dear, those were actually leg holes. Oops, replied Fancy. <laughs> well, there were big holes at the end. All trousers have big holes at the end. <laughs> Pansy wanted to make up for her mistake and soon found a way. <laughs> Doopy -doopy -doo, measuring and making, she made something very special just for Walter. Ta-da! So excited. These are splendid, said Walter, dancing about in his new trousers. And the fabric is exactly what I would have chosen. Hooray! All done, mistakes all fixed. And there he has a new trouser. Well, it has boats in them. Mm -hmm, nice, nice, nice style. It was a new day and Walter was eager to show off his new trousers. He did a little stretch and looked out at the glorious sunshine through the trouser-shaped hole in his curtains. 
<laughs> well, we all know now where the fabric came from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was Walter's curtains. <laughs> and it has treasure shaped hole in it. <laughs> and as you can see, they look very, 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 very cute during yoga poses. Trousers holes. Trousers shaped holes in his curtains. Oh, my. It's a nightmare for Walter. Oh. <laughs> At times like this, only one thing could help. I need chocolate, muttered Walter. But when he opened the box, his face dropped. I don't understand, he said. These were brand new. Pansy began to feel a little hot around the whiskers. Uh, maybe it's one of those boxes that comes with free holders, she suggested. You know, to keep spare chocolates in. Highly unlikely, Pansy. <laughs> oh, we'll have to have cake instead, shied Walter. Would you like some, Pansy? Yes, please. She replied and took a slice. Well, she took a slice. <laughs> when they'd finished eating, Pansy got the vacuum cleaner out to shock up the crumbs. Yikes! But it was rather powerful for such a little squirrel. Double yikes! Well, at least he's trying to help. And I hope it's not something that we want to see. Oops! Phew, at least my teacup, precious teacup, is safe. Whew. Next, Pansy said about the washing up. La 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 la, I love washing. Oh, heave, heave. Ah. Oh, 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 no, it's gone. <laughs> Gravity is taking it. <laughs> and there it is, broken to pieces. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Snipped bank. Let me glue your teacup back together, she offered. Walter shook his head. Well, what else can I help with? She asked. Huh? Maybe some dusting? Walter thought about his precious ornaments. It made him feel nervous. Then he had an idea. You could pop outside and water my carrots for me. It, it's a very safe choice, Walter. She will be outside. <laughs> Time to make everything perfect again. Walter spent all afternoon mending and cleaning. And as you can see outside, she is loving the gardening. La 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 la, I love gardening. Oh, the tap is stuck. <laughs> the tap is stuck. And there is dusting and sweeping, almost spotless. Oh, it must be time to check on Pansy, thought Walter, and there she is. Walter, the tap! Help! Oh, no, it looks like it's flooding. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> um, um, I've, had a, I've, I've had a little accident, said Pansy. Please, could you um bring the mop? Walter couldn't believe his eyes. He rushed back inside, but when he came out, he wasn't carrying a mop. Pansy frowned. How on earth are we going to fix things with those? He asked. <laughs> it looks like a fishing rod. Mm -hmm. What is Walter thinking? I've 
always wanted a sailing boat, said Walter. Thank you so much, Pansy. You are the most precious guest and my very best friend. Oh, as you can see, they're fishing for carrots. And Walter always wanted to have a boat, a sailing boat. And look at them. They have their pants hanging and everything. And that's Pansy, very, very proud. <laughs> and Walter being so glad to be with his friend. Oh, Pansy and Walter, best friends forever. Very best friend. They're very best friend together. I know, it's very, very cute. They need a big mop, but they did. They just needed a fishing pole. Now they're going to fish all the carrots out of the water. That's what they're going to do. <laughs> and they are so glad for having each other's company. Well, you have friends. Sometimes they are a bit different than you. But that's okay. Because they love you. And you like their company. And they will be there for you. No matter how clumsy it is. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you all. I hope you enjoy this amazing story about house guests and friendship. And you can see, look at their eyes. Oh, they love each other. They are so glad to be with each other and see each other after such a long time. Just like we see each other with everyone on Christmas Day. That's right. <laughs>